Hi guys, today I'm going to give you the complete guide about the Frog Pond Co-op. Subscribe. So first thing you need to know is that there are three roles on this co-op. Attacker, Main Spitter, and Backup Spitter. Attackers are six people who do the shooting. Main Spitter is the one who will only spit to decrease the frog's defense. Because to do the damage to the frog, this defense bar must remain below 50%. Take note that Main Spitter must be a really reliable person and have a high Queen Chambler's level. If this person die, all of you die. And Backup Spitter is the one who do both spit and shooting. They will focus on spit, but when the frog's defense is already at low, they will do the shooting instead. Next. You need to be familiar with this position guide image. It's probably look a bit confusing, but let me explain to you step by step. In the lobby, you can see that there's some kind of this ritual circle on the center, which is actually the same with this map. Then, you can see eight flower platforms for eight players. The top one is player number one, then it's go up to number eight in a clockwise pattern. For example, if I stand here, it's mean that I am player number two and must operate only on this blue zone. Now that you are understand, let's proceed with the attacks. During first phase, there are three attacks pattern and two special attacks. First attack is the explosion, this one is simple. When you see a purple smoke in its mouth, just prepare to dodge. You can either find gaps between those clouds or just simply go back far away. Second attack is the poison spray. For this attack, there will be an angry sign above its head. Then the frog will spraying poison in 360 degree. Most people usually run in a circle, but you know what? You can actually just hide behind a log around the map. The third attack is the tongue attack. One player will be chosen as a target. The targeted person must hide behind a log. Once you hear a noise, run away from it and the frog will receive 1% of damage. At 75% health. The first special attack will occur. Just run into a leaf and you are good to go. I am player number two, so my leaf is this one. At 50% health, second special attack will happen. Eight frogs' head will appear, and they all will change color every two, three seconds. Look at the fly that's chasing you. Mine is white, so I'm going to go for white frog. And again, look at the same map to know which frog is yours. Shoot a bit more, and phase two will begin. There are two new attacks on this phase. First one is the big tongue attack. The map will be divided into four lanes, which the frog will choose to attack six times randomly. There will be warning of the pattern it will attack though, so just memorize it. For me, I just go to where the frog never attacked before and then memorize what's the safe spot later on. As you can see on this one, the frog never used the uppermost lane before. So I'm gonna go for that lane. It will attack Mew Lane on fourth time. And then the second lane will be safe after that. Anyways, just memorize however you want. Next one is Croak Attack, 
the frog will inhale the air and let it out. Just don't go to the way that the frog looking. This attack is fast, so stay focused. Explosion attack is the same. Poison spray attack is almost the same, but you have more ways to dodge. Run in a circle, hide behind the log, or simply just pass through the frog. However, during this phase, the frog will start to spawn poison puddle randomly. Just watch your step and walk slowly, or you will make the same mistake as me. Also this time, once you targeted, the frog will soon spawn a big poison puddle wherever you're at. I suggest you to walk to the edge of the map so that the big puddle will not bother you all later on. Once reach 25% of health, last special attack will happen. There will be a big cannon for each corner. Look at the image to see what cannon you should go. Your team need to assign two players for each cannon. Then there will be yellow and purple icon popping up. Make sure to memorize it. This is the order of our cannon. You need to let yellow pass. For purple, you need to block it. But each of you can block only one time, so you need to decide who will block the first and second one. But look at this image. I'm player two, so I will block before player one. Basically, player number two, four, six, and eight will be the one who do the first block on their cannon. Now let's go back and follow my lead. It's actually simple than you think. After that, everything will be pretty much the same, but the frog will attack much faster. I recommend you to not to focus on the perfection of your shooting. Just focus on the frog and poison puddles. My special tip is to turn the music off. I know it will be boring, but you will feel less excited and nervous. Now that's going to be all for this guide. Hope this is helpful. Bye.